No, I didn't have any inkling that we would get here. It took us, you know, basically like a storm. We were completely won over. And uh, we decided that this is something we could do. So rather than just uh, being consultants, we got involved resulting in us um, building a, a rather reasonable sized network within a very short space of time. Well, I would say it was a reaction because we were both networking for this particular company and we brought in almost a total of 2,000 people in our network and the company we were networking for decided to shut down and clo close their operations. And it's a realization that hit us when their so-called efficiency started to falter. We came to the realization that we cannot keep building this. And we had to make a quick decision, and a rather difficult one, to face all our networkers, the leaders. So literally about a thousand people. So we brought the leaders into um, a hall, and we met with them. And we're gonna be telling them two things. And I was the breaker of the bad news. So I open up that night telling them, guys, bad news, our company such and such shut down so you won't be getting your checks, you won't be getting your products. And uh, we had a, a rather difficult session. It was a very trying time. And after the bad news, VJ came, you know, he unfolded this new company in front of everybody that we're starting this company and we need your support. And we promise, we pledge that each and every customer, we would grandfather them or adopt them that they will be getting their products, their commission. This is a responsibility that in a sense I had undertaken and therefore, you know, I had to complete the journey. We didn't have those products. We didn't have money to pay them their commission. And VJ made that promise. And I, I had to go with him with that promise. I believe it could be done, but how, I have no idea. So we made that promise. And basically we delivered after a year. Eventually, we decided, we called them back all together on September 8, 1998. And we were born. A handshake between me and VJ brought us this far. I have no idea I was even going to be a founder of this company. All, all I did is say, you know, I brought these people in and I have to be responsible making sure that their dream comes true. The hardship, the challenges, the obstacles, the repeated, you know, failures and mistakes, these things changed us. And we had to brave the odds many a time, simply on a wish and a prayer. All of that, I guess, has shaped us into, among other things, better human beings. How did you stay that long? Is just don't quit. Because the day you quit, right, is the day you die. Is the day the company you work for die. So I think our existence today, the last 20 years, would be pretty much is because we never gave up. Despite whatever challenges we faced, we stayed there day and night and came up with solutions. You know what I mean? We saw the problem. We didn't run away. We faced whatever challenges we faced, and that's why we're still here. We saw the world as one. We believed in the concept of a global village. I saw that clearly more so than anywhere else during the VCONs. The VCONs were amazing events where it potentially proved to me over and over again, people can come together. People can work together. People are one. This I say even after 20 years, right? I'm, I'm never going to be embarrassed. All the people would say, oh, pyramiding or this or that. They're just ignorant about what our business is all about. I believe from the very beginning, and that's what kept me 
you know, here in this company uh, is that I truly know what I'm giving to, you know, the public. Is that it's an opportunity for them, you know, to be financially free. And that's really what we're all about. We empower entrepreneurs. We as a company have come across and told the world that we can come together as one and work together as one and build our futures as one and basically reshape the planet we live in and make a difference. We actually chose to believe. We dared to believe. And in a sense, you know, some people may call us mad. We think of ourselves as mad. Except for us, mad simply means making a difference. What we have today, what would it bring us in the next 20 years? God, I, I could not imagine. We didn't have anything 20 years ago. I get up every morning inspired by the fact that I can make a difference to so many lives. And I don't know of anything else that can be more inspiring than that.